Hi there! This tutorial will show you how to create a line style sheet theme in Map Publisher. To get started, you can see that I have already created a new Illustrator document and imported the FC Streets MIF file from the tutorial data folder. Next, I want to open the Graphic Styles panel, which I can do by going to Window and clicking Graphic Styles, and it appears here off to the side. Now I'm going to use the line segment tool to draw a line segment anywhere on the page and this will allow me to create a graphic style. I'm just going to zoom in on this to make it more visible. And with it selected I want to change the stroke to 2 and I'm going to change the stroke color to red. The fill can be left as empty. Now I want to open the appearance panel which is right here. And as you can see, this is sort of the details of what is going on with my line. So I want to go into the options menu and click add new stroke. And it creates a stroke on top of the one that I have already created. So what I'm going to do for the new stroke is change the color to yellow. And I'm going to give it a weight of 1.6. So I just want to make sure that my new stroke is above the red stroke in the menu. So that way I can see that it has created this outline like so. So now I want to open my graphic styles menu again, and I am going to select this line and drag it into the graphic styles panel. So as you can see here, it has been added as a graphic style and I'm going to double click this so I can rename it. I'm going to give this a name of primary road and I'm going to click OK. So now that I have created this graphic style I can delete the line on the artboard but the style will still remain available inside the graphic styles panel. So as you can see here I'll delete the line and the style is still in the graphic styles panel. So now from the graphic styles panel option menu I'm going to select Open Graphic Style Library, and then I'm going to select Map Graphic Styles, and Map Line Styles is the library that I'm looking for. So as you can see, we have a big library here of a bunch of line styles that you can use in your maps, and I'm just going to add a couple of these to my document. I would like to add map line 12 and map line 16 to my document's graphic style panel. So I can simply take these and drag them into my document. And I can close that out. And they are now available in my current document. And I want to rename map line 12 to local road. And I want to rename map line 16 to secondary road. I can now close this panel and open the map themes panel. So under the map themes panel I now want to select the options menu and select new map theme. In the new map theme dialog box I want to make sure that style sheet is selected and I'm going to name my theme road types and I'm going to choose line as the feature type. I can click OK and that will appear in my map themes panel and now I'm just going to double click this to open up the edit style sheet theme box. Now I want to click to specify my layers and I'm going to select FC streets and here I want to click this add button three times to add three rules going to rename rule 1 to primary road, rule 2 to secondary road, and I want to rename rule 3 to local road. So I'm going to go back to my primary road. Next I want to go to the rule expression tab and I'm going to select the apply to artwork that satisfies this expression option and I'm going to select the attribute of number and I know that the primary roads are given the number A25, so I'm going to make sure that is selected from the drop-down menu. 
Next, I want to go over to Visual Properties. And instead of designing it, I can simply select Style and find the primary road style that I created. And there we go. Now I want to do the same things for the remaining road types. So I'm going to go to Secondary Road, make my rule expression number equals A31. Visual Properties, Style, Secondary Road, and then finally for Local Road, I'm going to do number equals A41. Visual Properties, Style, Local Road, and there we go. I'm all good here, so I can click Apply. And I just need to zoom out and I can see that these road types and styles have been applied to my map. You can see that primary, secondary, and local roads are styled accordingly. And I'm actually going to save this document as an AI file so I can come back to these styles later and import them to my other documents. I hope this tutorial was helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.